guys so um i am on this kind of vlog two kind of thing um i want to make at least three of these for every excuse me trimester um but as you can see on the bottom below from the title that i am pregnant i am 14 weeks pregnant so this is just going to tell you like the story of how i found out what was going on difficulties that i've had and we're just going to start from the beginning so um the time of conception they said was in february however i didn't find out till six weeks later that i was pregnant but during those six weeks um it was in february so i live in california so we didn't really hear too much about what was going on in the world i mean i was very much you know focusing on my lease was going to be up we had really bad problems with the place that we were staying at and um and overall made our credit like really really bad because they kept upping the price they tried charging us for fire alarms that were expired there so like they put household paint on our tub and then they tried charging us for it it was awful we had to move out of there so we ended up doing it um however we were going to move to arizona and my fiance and i were looking forward to that it was going to be a three bedroom however all of a sudden we had a disagreement one night and he took off for a day which is totally fine but all of a sudden he came back from where he was at and was like nope i don't want to go to arizona anymore and then right before when he found out that we couldn't find any place because of our credit here in california he started freaking out and he was like, oh no, like we'll just go back to um, Arizona. And I said, it's not that simple. We had to put all of our stuff in storage. Um, we went out to this one place because he was like, oh, well, um, we can stay with these people for this many months just until we get everything together to go to Arizona. So I said, okay, and we put down like $700 we had to rent a u-haul we had to rent like all these things i had a friend of ours that came down and he was just super super cool about everything however he had work too and um everyone was frustrated during that trip um because we went up and then the people like didn't even know that we were coming and what i was told was something completely different than the other person was told and the other person so it was just like super confusing i was hurt because i spent all of my like paychecks on it so um we ended up coming back here and we were just going from place to place and then all of a sudden the lockdown came and i was working at red robin at the time and i still am and we didn't even know what was happening either really um one day we came in it was like hey we're going to 50 percent um every other table um can sit down and then the next day all of a sudden we were only you know doing takeout delivery so it was very difficult there was only a couple days um so then by about the fifth week of my pregnancy i still didn't really know however that week I have OCD and bipolar and this is when the whole lockdown started and I'm freaking out because we don't have a place. The credit's all screwed up. Um, and so we were staying at one of his family members, but this one particular day we decided to go to a hotel. I was just very antsy, like my anxiety was high um, or what I thought was my anxiety. and. I just kept going, oh my gosh, I can't breathe. Like, it's hard for me to breathe. And he was like, what do you mean? I wasn't able to dance like I was normally able to because I was doing TikTok videos. I, I was just, you know, I'm not feeling so great. I don't know why. And my OCD was telling me, oh my gosh, it's COVID. You got this happening for you. This is going on. Um, my fiance would always take my temperature. He's like, you don't have it. Like, it's just your OCD talking. And I was so confused because I knew my body that something wasn't right. So we ended up sitting there and we were in the hotel and 
I was just really hungry. So he's like, you know what? Let's go down across the street and let's go and get some snacks. So I was like, okay. So we go, but before we left, he had accidentally bumped my boo and I was super mad. And I was like, ow, that freaking hurts. Don't touch me. So when we were at the store, he literally told me, I think you should get a test. And we have taken tests. We had two um, miscarriages. But we had taken a test uh, multiple times after our miscarriages. And um, because at the time when we had a, a place and everything like that, we wanted a family. And we, we stopped you know, just thinking about it at this period of time. So when I went to the store, I was like, yeah, well, we haven't even been trying. I don't know. So we ended up getting a test and um, I ended up taking it right when I got back. And it was, it was probably at like 3 p.m., 4 p.m. maybe. And I took the test and I there was just like a little faint line and I was like I don't think that's like right and I looked at him I called him into the bathroom and I was like babe and he was like right outside the bathroom the door was open but I was like babe like and he saw it and um you know, we watched it and it would just started going more and more. And I saw the faint line and I was just like, oh my gosh. So I was like, do you see that? And he's like, yeah, I see it. And I was like, I was kind of freaking out in my own way because we didn't plan it. <laughs> and so we're sitting there and I'm like, okay, I didn't even want to talk to him really. I didn't know what to do. He was in shock. He was like, oh my gosh, like, is this happening? And um, he kind of pushed it away just because of our two miscarriages, which was kind of difficult for me, but I understood it. Um, so at that point, I had called my sister. She is, young, she's 16. So I called her and I said, grandma and grandpa are going to kill me. And she said, you're pregnant. And I said, yeah. So in two days, I thought about it one day. We stayed at the hotel for two days. I stayed and I just thought really hard. We got Olive Garden. You know, I still said I couldn't breathe. Like I was like, oh my gosh. So I called my doctors. And when I first talked to my doctor, because I didn't want to tell my grandparents until I knew. I had called my doctor and I told him, hey, so I got this test and it came out this, and but it's a very faint line and I'm really unsure. And he told me, well, when was your last um, period? And I said, well, my last period was on my birthday in January. So at this time, he thought I was already 11 weeks pregnant, which freaked me out because I had no idea how many weeks I was. And I, that didn't make sense to me because that line was so faint and my friend was telling me, oh, well, you know, it could be a negative. So we're all thinking it's gonna come negative. Um, so we got really, really like frantic. Um, eventually, when I found all this information out, my doctor told me, okay, you need to go do OBGYN. I was freaking out. I called my grandma. I said, I need to talk to you. Went over to her. I had told my dad before and he was just like, I support you. Um, I went to my grandma's house and I didn't know how to tell her. Um, I pulled her in the garage and I said, grandma, I might be pregnant. I... You know, I took a test, I showed her a picture of it and I was like, she's like, Anna, I think it's negative, it's so faint. And I said, I don't know, but I'm scared. Like, how am I supposed to be a mom? Because my mom had just passed um, at that time, six months prior. So I was, or five months prior. So I was very still like, I don't know what to do. And I didn't even know my mom really. So it was really difficult for me. Um, I was crying. My sister came in and she like looked at me and she like tried to walk away. And my grandma's like, you knew I asked you if your sister was pregnant. 
and my grandma at first was crying in shock but she hugged me and she just said that she loved me and stuff um she told me to let her know like anything that happened so the next day i was about to go to my ultrasound and i was shaking i was scared my fiance was pushing away a lot and i had no idea at the time what was going on but we ended up having like a little fight and i was like well do you even want me to have this kid like what is going on he's which i you don't understand because as a woman when you're finding all this out you're scared your emotions are high his emotions are high because he's a guy so we both did not know what to do so um i ended up going to the ultrasound um alone which is fine because in the pandemic they can only sit in their car when we go in and at first we didn't have to wear face masks or anything like that so I went in, I had to fill out paperwork. Um, he told me to call him and then when I called him, I was like, hey, like what's going on? He started just freaking out, saying things that were unnecessary. And um, I had to go into the doctors and I said, do you still want me to call you? He didn't answer. So I went in and when I tried calling him for the ultrasound, he turned off his phone. So, you know, it really did hurt me at that point in time because I was like, how could he turn off his phone? I don't understand. Um, I went into the ultrasound and they uh, they thought I was 11 weeks at that time. So they didn't um, not do the inserted uh, ultrasound. They um, did the one that you just uh, rubbed the lotion on the stomach and then rubbed over. Uh, I'm not good at terms, sorry. So they did that and literally two seconds into it, they were like, you're definitely pregnant. Um, and then all of a sudden I, I couldn't even stop staring at the screen. I didn't know what to do. I was just like, oh, like I was in such shock that I didn't even know I was pregnant. I thought I should be feeling something else. And so the doctor looked at me and she said, you're between six and eight weeks and um it, it calmed me down because at that time I was thinking I was 11 weeks and I was freaking out um and I was just like okay and then she gave me pictures and it you know it was just like I felt at peace I just felt like all of a sudden mom mode set in like okay this is happening it's real like you got to you know start thinking how is this going to incorporate in your life like how are you going to become a better you and for your child and so I went home and I was mad because he still wasn't answering the phone and I had came and I saw him walking the corner and I remember I was also sitting in my car just thinking about my mom and I was like well mom this is what you wanted and um I got out of my car and I showed him the pictures and I realized that he was smoking and I was like, why are you smoking? I showed him the picture and he was in shock and, um, you know, he said some unnecessary things and then I ended up giving him some space. I went to the park. He didn't talk to me for like a couple days and, but when I talked to him like, well, what do you want me to do? You don't seem happy about it. He's like, no, I am. And you know, he was just very quiet. And so our relationship kind of became like, we didn't know what was going on or at least I didn't. And he kept telling me though that he loves me and stuff like that, but he was very like, I don't want, he wasn't around really. At this time, his job had to like cancel through because of the pandemic. So I was telling him he needed to work, but he was trying to work just for people he knew instead of getting an actual job. So it was really, really tough. And he didn't understand when taxes came back, why wasn't he getting as much as I did? Well, it's because I worked. And so, you know, I told him he had to get a job. He ended up getting a job, two jobs, and I was super proud of him. Um, so then 
I went for another ultrasound um, a couple weeks later because um, I had like, I forget why I went to this one. Sorry, I've been to the doctors a lot. Um, the second time I went to the doctors, it was because we were freaking out because I was throwing up a lot, but my sides were hurting and um, I had discharged a lot. So that's when um, I went back to the doctors and um, they said I was fine and that was at eight weeks. So I haven't gotten an ultrasound since then. I decided not to do the screen testing just on my personal belief because I have OCD and stuff. I didn't want to freak out. Um, so that was the main reason why I didn't do that. However, um, from week seven to about couple days into this last week the 13 weeks I was totally sick I'm only weighing about 101 pounds I eat a lot I eat healthy I do what I'm supposed to do however nothing would stay down with me and my doctor gave me nausea medication it helped for about a week and a half I want to say however then it just stopped working with my body um and I would throw up the medication and then I would try to just put anything down me. Um, and during this time of me being super, super sick was um, challenging, but also all of a sudden he just bumped into, you know, the guy that I loved again and he grabbed my hair. He would, he would like, you know, just sit with me for hours as I'm puking and then i finally got to sit down with him and i was like why are you pushing away and he's like it's not you it was the two miscarriages like i don't want to lose another one so we had to we had to really take a step back and i had to understand why he was standing away and that was truly difficult for me because i was like why well, you should just be happy but i had to understand from his point of view on why he was the way he was so that is exactly what had happened. Um, now I'm feeling a lot better. I had gained about three to four pounds now. I think the scale that I use is kind of off. So we'll see to on Friday when I go back to the doctors. Um, so during the pandemic, um, he's not allowed to go in anything. So he definitely is very hurt by it he doesn't feel a part of it and stuff like that now he will start to hold my stomach and sing and stuff like that um because that's what he can do um as of right now because he can't go into the ultrasounds he can't do any of that stuff so hopefully because restrictions have gone down um we're in phase three in um i believe our county or i think our county over so hopefully we will be able to um, be in an ultrasound together. I have one in July on July 2nd. My next appointment is um, on Friday, like I said, and then I have a couple more next month. So I'm really just nervous. I'm really super nervous, but I'm excited. Um, we're still looking, trying to find like a home and stuff like that. We're just now trying to find one that's good for a kid. And um, yeah, if worse comes to worse, we are probably going to have to move to Arizona. I prepared my family for it already, um, but we gotta do what's best for us. Um, right now we are working on paying all of our credit down. His credit is way less than mine because I'm the one who took out a lot of the credit um to help us out but um if we get his down then we can most likely get a place so um with the pandemic just because they gave us that extra pay i am able to provide i am able to sit there and be like okay we could pay things off now and i'm grateful for it i know a lot of people were angry about it but you know just like what I've been through and now that I'm pregnant like it really helps people and like I believe that you know the nurses and the 
police and fire departments and everybody um, that has been an essential worker should get it because um, it really, really helped. And especially because you're so afraid and that was my main fear is getting this virus and I didn't want people over. And um, I mean, I'm just blessed that um, we are all safe. And um, yeah, this journey is going to be tough and amazing. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to put this vlog down. So if any of you are going through pregnancy stuff or thought you had COVID and then ended up being pregnant, you are not alone. Um, there is going to be a lot of quarantine babies um, definitely coming. Um, I'm due November 26th and um, I'm really excited. Um, I'm nervous. Um, a lot of people are going to judge me because I am not married. Um, people have asked me if I am going to get married. And as of right now, I am not going to get married. I believe that me and him need to be in a very special place like i love him with all my heart he loves me with all of his heart um but our priority right now is the kid i don't think we need to add on stress of marriage um i think our main focus is this kid right now um we're very committed to each other he's my fiance so that's not gonna change um so yeah i'm not gonna let anybody pressure me he's not gonna let anyone pressure him um we're doing our own thing hopefully when the kid is about two or three we will actually tie the knot but i think it's important we've been together for two years um so long engagement doesn't bug me um yeah so i'm really excited i'm gonna put this vlog up so you guys can see it and if you're relating to any of it and i'll try to respond to messages um but i hope you guys are all having a wonderful day inside of your homes. Um, and if you guys are out, just be safe, wear a mask, um, you know, because you don't know what other people can lose. And you don't know how many people are pregnant now, so you gotta watch out for them as well. And yourself, keep yourself and your families okay. And yeah, God bless guys.